Hello there, very good afternoon to you. As John mentioned, we're into December now and we start the week certainly on a fairly windy note. A strong northwesterly gale force winds blasting in through Sunday, taking us into a windy start to Monday and keeping those showers rattling into many areas. A bit of a change into Monday and Tuesday, and this little feature is going to bring something of a problem, I think, over southern parts of Britain. It's going to rush in, it's going to bring a heavy spell of rain, I think, over southern areas, and some of that, indeed, in many places, is going to turn to sleet and snow. More of that in a second. As we come out of Tuesday, that feature clears away into Wednesday and Thursday. Low pressure still with us, but becoming very, very flabby. The wind's dying away. So we end the week, I think, on a much drier note in many areas, but also seeing a return for Thursday and Friday of a slight frost and maybe the problems of some mist and fog patches under those basically light winds. Well, let's come back to this afternoon and the story is split into really two areas. Down in the southeast, we've still got the cloud, the drizzly outbreaks of rain clearing away from the southern parts of Britain through the rest of the afternoon. To the north and west, the blotchy nature of the cloud indicating a fair few number of showers rattling in and those showing up on the radar at the present time. Many of those are going to be heavy, they're going to be winter in the nature, there could be a threat of some hail and thunder in places, and those strong to gale force winds, locally severe gale, I think, around the western extremities of Scotland and perhaps into parts of Northern Ireland. Things brightening up in the south, and really that takes into a windy night to come, with the showers persisting across many northern and western regions, drying up in the south. With all that wind, though, shouldn't be too many problems with uh, any frost at all, temperatures down to those sort of levels, and generally also fog-free. Into Monday, we see the winds, winds persisting in the north and west, the showers also pushing into many northern and western areas. Then into the afternoon, we see the first of a change coming along, the clouds thickening up into the southwest as that band of rain comes in from that direction. And this is where we get into a bit of a problem because, as I mentioned, that's going to work its way eastwards and southeastwards throughout the day. And I think we are going to find it turning to slow in quite a number of places. We may see periods of wet snow over the southernmost hills, and certainly from the Midlands northwards, more, per 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 more periods of snow affecting the hills in northern regions. Scotland stays somewhat brighter there with some wintry showers and things have been clearing up from the southwest as we go through into the afternoon. Wednesday and Thursday we're left with some wintry showers affecting the northeastern regions of Britain and a slight frost returning with those mists again 